Hello and what is good? Yes, Dredgezel is back for another episode of my Madden player career. Now, week five is a bye week for me, so obviously I'll be playing no games there, just, you know, resting, chilling at the crib, playing some Madden probably, you know, eating some food, going to practice. But I'm going to skip to week six, and I'll be going to be playing the Green Bay Packers. And you already know Green Bay every season is a good team. I mean, when when led by Aaron Rodgers and have a running back like Eddie Lacy and two top receivers and Randall Cobb and Jordan Nelson, there's no way they can be a bad team. So let's get this game started. First and 10, five minutes, 16 seconds on the clock. Hike and run. But Eddie Lacy is stopped maybe for about a two or, okay, four yard gain there. Once again, Aaron Rodgers in the shotgun formation, and he hands it off to Eddie Lacy. Oh my gosh, Eddie Lacy with a great pickup there. All right, so from now on, let's pick up this rush defense, and this game is going to be wait, there's a sack on Aaron Rodgers, first sack of the game. So yes, back to what I was saying before, let's make this game a run-stop game. Third and 17, Aaron Rodgers flings it, interception by the Detroit Lions secondary and uh, I mean they've been doing this all season and Rodgers is a top-notch uh, quarterback excuse me but Quinn is just there just picking things off in the background all right so here goes a Lacey and great stop by four Detroit Lions players now that is the first good run stop of this game third and five and Rodgers and shoddy blast screenplay I cannot stand screenplays and Eddie Lacy has a great pickup here. Alright, so this third and two. Eight yard line. Aaron Rodgers flings it. Ooh, wow. Aaron Rodgers. A bad pass by him there. It's unfortunate. So it is seven to three now. Second in inches. He has time, but he gets sacked. And they call a timeout. First and ten. Now the score is ten to three. Hands off, but Dre Drizzle is there for the second good run stop of this game. Now, the second half has come, and Aaron Rodgers is in the shotgun formation as usual. He runs, but nope. He gets stopped, and that is a sack for Tulik. One sack, three tackles on the game. Now, the ball is handed off to Eddie Lacy, and once again, make that number three, the third good run stop of this game. It's probably the third good run stop in a row honestly the Detroit Lions defense has picked it up since the first two rushes of the game and Rodgers scrambles oh my gosh he scrambles and picks up the first down just like that it is that easy 17-3 is the score third quarter Aaron Rodgers hands the ball off and oh my gosh Dre Drizzle is there for another tackle and another good run stop. Make that four good run stops in a row. Now they hand the ball off. Oh my gosh. But this time, Eddie Lazy picks up the first down. And the run stop stops at four in a row. And Rodgers hands it off again. And there it is, number five. Not in a row, but that is the fifth good run stop. And here it is. We are first in, in season takeaways, but we are fourth today. Ooh, number six. And Eddie Lacy is nowhere to go. Wow, we are 22nd ranked allowed in points. Today we've only up three points. There goes Aaron Rodgers, and Aaron Rodgers throws a touchdown pass. Now we can make that 17 to 10 is the score. Oh, make that 20 to 10. We had a field goal on offense. Fourth quarter, Aaron Rodgers goes down. Aaron Rodgers has the ball, and Aaron Rodgers flings it. And wow, across the field, gets the first down, and they are marching. Fourth quarter, 51 seconds left in this game, and I believe this game is over. There is no possible way that they can come back after this. 44 seconds, make that 25 seconds, 20 to 10. Aaron Rodgers has the ball, and he flings it. Ooh, there's a touchdown, but that only brings him to 20 to 17. Yes, the game is over. The Detroit Lions win yet another game, and the roll continues. Now let's move to the next game. The Detroit Lions are playing 
the Washington Redskins. Yes, one of my home teams. I am a Ravens fan, as you guys know, but also the Washington Redskins is one of my other home teams. So here we go, and this is going to be a, a really good game, I should, I should say. Now it is first and ten, first quarter. RG3, and there goes RG3, but there goes JJ with the sack. One sack, one tack on the game, and uh, it's going to be a long, long day for RG3. He has the ball. He flings it. And, uh, and a right pick up there. Fourth and five it is, and there's no way that they're going for this. That's what I thought. So we scored an offense, make this second and ten. Hands the ball to Alfred Morris, and, I mean, here we go with the run stop. I don't even need to put the chart on the side. You guys already know we have one of the best run stop defenses in the league. RG3 flings it and gets another first down. Here he goes again, hands the ball off, and Dre Drizzle is there for uh, another tackle. We'll make that one sack, two tackles on the game. RG3 is in shotgun formation, hands the ball off once again, and oh my gosh, Dre Drizzle is there. One sack, three tackles on the game in this one, and he is having a game and a half. First quarter, 1 minute, 13 seconds on the clock, RG3. RG3 flings it, and another first down. Third and five, make that first and ten for the Washington Redskins. RG3 has the ball, and oh my gosh, there he goes. Oh my gosh, there goes RG3. Whoa, wow, he slid. That is a first. Usually he does not slide, and y'all know what has happened to RG3 this season when he does not slide. He gets injured. Once again, another good run stop there by this Detroit Lions defense. But yes, RG3 has had a very long, or long two seasons, actually. Just a bunch of injuries left and right. But this man right here has not been injured. Dre Drizzle. Make that tackle number four on the game, I believe. Yes, it is. RG3. Throws it. Screen pass. Oh, my gosh. And that is a touchdown. Tie the score up. 7-7. Seven to seven. Yes, you better pray. Because that was an easy touchdown, which will never happen again. So, now make the score four. Oh, my. Here goes RG3. Here goes RG3. And once again, he slides. Wow, this is amazing. Again, RG3 is gone. He breaks, not even breaks, misses the tackle, dives. Oh my. Fumble. Wow, two look. One forced. Oh no, one fumble recovery and two tackles in this game. You have to see this now. RG3 decides to dive head first in a pile of three to four Detroit Line players, and this is what happens. I don't know why he didn't just stick to, you know, sliding like he was doing before, and that was working for him. But now the score's 21 to 7. Because of RG3's fumble, we were able to capitalize on that. And he throws the ball to pick up a first down. Jordan Reed. Good catch. Wow, good run after the catch. But yes, because of that fumble, we were able to pick up the game. And now it is the second half. RG3 hands the ball off. And Three people get to Alfred Morris on that tackle and bring him down. Four minutes, 12 seconds on the clock. Alfred Morris is going nowhere. Second down. Make that third and three. Shotty Blast. Oh, my goodness. How lucky is RG3 there? Dre Gizzle had a clear beeline pass right to the quarterback. But RG3 got it off just in time. Once again, another little, you know, out route, slant route, whatever you want to call it. And they just pick up the first down just like that. And look at Jordan Reed's stats from last week to today. He is torching us. The ball is handed off, and you guys already know, out for Morris is going nowhere. 12 rushes for 29 yards. Not a good day for out for Morris. Now the fourth quarter is beginning, and RG3 drops back. And RG3 gets sacked by Dre Drizzle. So here he is, Shotty Blast. RG3 gets, oh my gosh, he gets leveled by the one and only Dre Drizzle. Make that three sacks, six tackles, and one forced fumble on the day. He lifted RG3 off the ground, and I'm surprised he got up after that tackle. Fourth and eight. 
RG3 takes it. RG3 flings it. Wow, he is lucky that first of all, he did not get sacked. Second of all, he did not get injured. And third of all, that it was not a pick. Wow, once again, he is lucky that there was not a pick. But yes, this game is over. 28 to 10. The Detroit Lions have now started a great momentum shift towards themselves. There's a streak of wins going on right now, and I believe that we are looking good. Let me, you know, you guys, I want you guys to let me know what you guys think now. How we're looking. How the defense look. How, do, how does Dre Drizzle look? How does the offense seem to be? But here are my stats. I know you guys want to see my stats, so here it is. I have 26 tackles on the season. 19 tackles for a loss. 12 sacks already. This is incredible. Nowhere close to, you know, my first season, but as a second-year player, people are double-teaming double me, and I mean, hey, this is incredible. So 12 sacks, you know, no interceptions. I mean, not yet. You never know. Uh, forced fumbles. I have three forced fumbles in the year. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good. Fumble recovery is none. Uh, blocks, safeties, touchdowns, none. And I would have the most downs played on my team. So obviously, I'm one of the most, you know, important players on this defensive front. But now you guys see the stats, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I'm out.